Hi all, welcome to our channel. Myself, Dr. Naga Prashant, and in this video, we are going to see a special test that is being conducted by National Testing Agency from this academic year, that is for the academic year 2022 to 23 admissions, especially for PG. The name of the test is Common University Entrance Test, and I am going to discuss about the admission into M form for such central universities which are participating in this common university entrance test. Let us see the details. This is the web page uh, for this common university entrance test. You should go to cuet.nta.nac.in. Uh, immediately you can uh, go to this page where you will have each and every detail about common university entrance test. And this is being conducted by NTA that is National Testing Agency. And now we are going to see its uh, information bulletin for more details. This is the information bulletin for uh, common university entrance test, especially for postgraduate. That's why you can see it here. CUET in the brackets PG for the year of 2022, admissions in 2022. This is the information bulletin and these are all the participating institutions. Most, uh, Not most, all central universities are participating in this and apart from that, uh, I'm going to show you the list of uh, entire universities total. There are 64 universities from India which are participating in this. Uh, most of them are central universities, few are deemed universities, uh, private universities and state universities. More are there which we are going to see in this video. And let us see the important dates for uh, this test. Uh, of course, here it is mentioned as uh, 18th June, but it has been extended, uh, which I am showing you here. The date has been extended from 18th June up to uh, 4th July. That is, uh, 4th of next month, uh, we are able to apply for this. And uh, until 5th, you can make online payments. And until 6th of July, you can do uh, modifications until 6 to 8 that is for uh, these three days you can do modifications in your application form in uh, correction window these are the updated uh, dates and now these are all going to the fees uh, for general it is 800 and for OBC 600 SCST it is going to be 550 for uh, PWBD it is going to be 500 and those who are uh, uh, willing to write this test uh, from outside of India, those people need to pay 4,000 rupees. And this is the website and this is the additional information about uh, the shifts and duration of the exam. The duration of exam is going to be for two hours. That is 120 minutes and total number of uh, questions you are about to face are going to be 100. Uh, it is going to be part based, part 1, part B. Uh, so, uh, for each type of uh, question paper code, uh, the division is going to be different, and that's what we are going to see. And this is about uh, common university entrance test. The entrance test uh, was uh, for the first time being introduced for admission to UG or PG programs uh, for this academic year, that is 2022 23. Uh, all common universities uh, from entire India, including Northeast, uh, everyone, uh, every university is going to be in this. And this test is going to be on computer uh, based test CBT for, uh, 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 and it is going to be in two shifts. The eligibility criteria, especially age limit, uh, there is no age limit for writing this CUET. But even though any candidate before uh, writing the CUET need to be uh, very keen whether the candidate is fulfilling the age criteria of that particular university and particular course or not. Uh, even though you qualified in this uh, CUET, uh, if your age is not under the qualification limit for that particular university and for that particular course, then you may not get uh, admission. Uh, take care about that. And prices of city, uh, there are a lot of uh, cities uh, in entire India who are where this uh, CUET is being conducted. So while uh, filling your application form, you do have an option of selecting 
four cities uh, within your uh, permanent state or residing state. So uh, you have to give those four in your priority order. Uh, but NTA reserves the right to merge uh, the cities if the number of candidates are very, very less. And as usual, uh, see, our uh, NTA is not going to take any responsibility in counseling or else uh, uh, transfer, cancellation, or conversion of these seats uh, and admission of the CUET after completing. Uh, NTA's responsibility is only to conduct and release the scores. And the participating institutions are going to uh, announce their own counseling dates uh, and which the candidate need to follow and has to apply separately. These are the list of uh, cities in each and every state. They are uh, cities and uh, cities codes which you need to note before filling the application form. And based on that, uh, you have to choose at least uh, four. And it's not like you should choose all four. If you need only one, you can choose only one. But the problem is, in case if that city is not uh, having that much good number of candidates to appear, then uh, you are going to be in trouble because it's going to be merged with some other. So uh, always choose four, uh, which is uh, very, very uh, appropriate for you, for your current location. And we are going to see the process of uh, applying. This is the common website page. It is a replica or images which were given in the information bulletin itself. I didn't take any screenshots. Uh, once you click on register, uh, this type of screen is going to be appear here. And you are going to, first you are going to go for this new registration button. And then uh, once after the registration process was completed, you are going to go through this session. And a lot of details are going to be asked, uh, which you have to fill, uh, like your name, everything, each and every detail will be asked here. And uh, this is a very important thing. Uh, while filling, uh, be, please be clear and don't do any mistakes. Uh, either spelling mistake or choosing a wrong option is going to uh, cost you uh, losing your seat. Uh, so be very, very clear and very cautious while filling this application form. And now let us see uh, the list of participating universities. This is the list of uh, participating universities at the time of releasing this information bulletin. But later on, uh, many more universities have joined to this. As per this, uh, there are only 42. But uh, here, this is the updated uh, list of participating institutions where you can see they are around... 65. Uh, 65th uh, is Suresh Gyan Vihar University of Jaipur, which was added newly on 22 of this month. And this belongs to state private university. That's what you can see. Uh, most, not most, again, I can tell all central universities, apart from that, central universities, state government universities, deemed universities, and state private universities and private universities. All types of universities can uh, take part in this. And the link for visiting such universities was also given in this very clearly. Uh, so one candidate has to clearly go to the uh, university website and check his eligibility criteria, each and everything. Of course, the same eligibility criteria was also mentioned in this uh, information bulletin. That's what we are going to see now. Uh, let me go directly uh, for uh, uh, M Pharmacy. Uh, so here we are going to see. Uh, M pharmacy. You see here pharmacology, M form. The pattern of question is going to be two, that is 25 general and uh, 75 domain specific questions. And it is going to be offered by Central University of uh, Haryana. These are all the uh, minimum eligibility criteria for this particular course in this particular university. Like this, there are a big list of uh, uh, universities which are offering M form in various branches which the candidate can go through and uh, apply for this. And please make a note of this test code, which is going to play a major role at the time you are going to apply. 
uh, all pharmacy is going to be for PGQP24. That's what you can see, whatever the branch, whatever the university, the code is going to be same, that is PGQP24. Uh, with this information, I would like to conclude our video. My upcoming video is going to be on Niper JE for PGs. Uh, I'm going to tell a basic information about this Sniper JE for MS uh, Pharma programs uh, very detailedly. If you like the content of this video, please do subscribe our channel.